With Sex in the City, you uh, you did for a whole generation of women come to kind of become sort of the emblem of what a powerful woman could be. Uh, is this uh, is this a way to do that for another generation of women? Is it the the next stage, if you will, of Samantha? Um, I think it's what I like to call it is the next chapter, not the next chapter of Samantha. Uh, I think it's the next chapter for women or bringing women together, which I think Sex in the City did in in a very uh, surprising way. I yeah. mean, we wanted the show to be successful, but. We had no idea that it was going to become a zeitgeist, and women on Sundays when it was aired were going to get together and have parties and celebrate the beginning or the end of a season. Uh, it, it became sort of an anthem of that period of time. You know, I was one of those women. I lived in New York, and every Sunday night, my girlfriends and I ordered sushi, <laughs> and we tuned in, yeah. and it was a ritual. Yes. Um, as a consequence, even watching Sensitive Skin, as different as the characters are, part of me relates to you because I know you. Mm -hmm. I knew you for years as Samantha. Right. What's the kind of love-hate relationship you must have with that character? Because it, it looms so large, and yet it isn't you. It doesn't no. define you. Is it a frustration? It's more a blessing than anything else. I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you today on this Glen Gould stage without Samantha Jones in my life. So I see it as uh, an amazing opportunity uh, that I have and a platform that I have to continue in my work to address issues, especially concerning women. You have done six episodes of yes. Sensitive Skin. Uh, yes. there, there may be more. If you had a, a kind of a dream scenario, is it a, a, a 10 year run? Is it, a, what, how, how long could this, could this go? I think it, it will last as long as we have stories to tell. For you personally, if Samantha was the right role for your 40s and Davina is the right role for your 50s, what's, the, what's your next role? Well, I have to go find the next role, and I hope it doesn't take me nine years to realize it because I'll be possibly too old to play it. But maybe not. But that's another story. I haven't found that yet. But I'm always searching. Thank you. Thanks.